Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing fine and tonight or today depending where you live I have a few updates and yes updates this is my already Kate I think world's smallest game console with four games uh, just a disclaimer and credit the code is not by me, it is by, oh boy, now I forgot the name, uh, Espert. Uh, you can find it if you search for Espert on Google, you can find it. Um, this is um, for now the last one I built. And Toboso, this one is for you. And I know you don't like the screen protector, so this is a shout out for you. And um, yeah, that's our dog running around the house. Anyway, this is a game with Pac-Man, Flappy Bird, Breakout and Octopus. And uh, I won't go into detail on the games, you can find those in my Tindy store. I will put a link, direct link to it in the description below the video. And anyway, this runs on an uh, SP, I think that's the 07, if I'm not mistaken. Battery, sound and whatnot. And just let me sh quickly show you the gameplay. Unfortunately, I died. Anyway, I have a better video uh, in my description. So anyway, if you want to get it, please go to my store and I will put the screen protector back on. As soon as I can grab it from the table. Just in case something comes up. And uh, my retro clock is finished the code is finished the clock was finished before and um, as you can see it shows the time if you press the button you go into the display mode you press again uh, it now has the loop of the temperature battery and the date and you can turn that on and off you go again in you can select no you go out and then you can select am pm setting 12 hour 12 uh, 24 hour mode hourly alert voltmeter temperature this is high temperature it has uh, adjustable high temperature that you can set and it will alert you on if it reaches the temperature it also has a low voltage alarm uh, you can set the temperature to Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can set the date to show or not. You can change the month day or day month setting. You can have the text of the date uh, displayed in long, short or none. If it's none, it just shows the numbers. Uh, that's the separator for the date that you can change you go exit and then you can go into the next menu here you can adjust the silent time because uh, the speaker is quite loud and I'm sure you don't want to get woken up or you like you don't like to get woken up at night so here you can select the silent start at 23 hours you press again you can change it Press again, you go out, and then you can change the silent end. Change that, and then you can exit again. And then you have the alarms menu. You press it. You can uh, select between list the alarms, add, exit, to exit the alarm setting. Let's go into list. And this is the hourly alert. You can select that. And there's only one uh, programmed right now, so it's only showing that. 
we go again in here and if we click it again you can say to show edit remove or exit out of this menu part so let's go into uh, i won't go into edit I won't, i'll make another video for that because it gets quite long if i want to do that so let's go out of that out of the alarms and then you have the date time you select that you can adjust your daylight savings time uh, two is for europe one uh, is for actually let me, again you select go in you can adjust it for uh, one is us time that's how we programmed it uh, two uh, none or if i can go up one is for us two is for europe and uh, zero is for none so you can select your daylight savings time and you can select to show it or not and here you have the clock menu and time if you want to change the time you select yes push in and then you can select the year or change the year by going up and down you push you come to the month day hour minute set if you have want to change it you say yes and you click ok and then you exit again and you have the about screen i showed you and then exit again so the display was set on no loop so here we leave that exit again and then you can take shortcuts uh, just going up in the menu and then exit again and then you can if you want to see the other screens i cannot find the, the push button you push down it shows you the temperature you push again it shows you the battery voltage and percentage you push again it shows you this is the date uh, in long so it says sunday 25th july 2021 and if you want to exit again you push down a little longer and then you go out of the screen and uh, this is it um i will put this up on tindy this weekend i promise i had one viewer uh, wanting to buy it so he can also buy it directly from me but also from my tindy store of course so this is my retro clock and the other day i received something which is this little guy here and uh, that was actually a magnifying glass and uh, it did come with one lens damaged broken on the edge and uh, it has also a handle that you can screw in on the side but as soon as you move it it falls out again and uh, it's quite heavy of course because this is actually glass i mean otherwise it would not break like this and um but i like that case so much that i decided to use it in a project let me take this out of here so this is the aluminum case it's aluminum obviously and it has those two rings that you can unscrew and i mean people who know a little bit about mechanics can hear and see how fine this thread is and how precisely it is cut so if you open it up if you open it up <laughs> uh, you have the recess where the uh, lens goes in like so and then you screw it back together uh, i shouldn't actually make show this too much but anyway i just wanted to show you what's happening you screw this in and as soon as you wiggle it like this it gets loose so 
I could fix this to go in there tightly and whatnot, but uh, and it is actually a nice um, magnifying glass, it works really nice. But I like this case and I wanted to use it. So let me take this thing out of here again the broken length. Put this on here again. So my initial idea was to put the record clock in here because since it has a magnifying glass over here too it does actually make it bigger but then I figured um, I want to do something else with it and I do like those matrixes and I have a clock here back there this is actually red but it shows orange on my camera and anyway I also I always wanted also to make a single digit clock as you can see it's running in uh, 12 hour mode right now it's showing a.m. p.m. and you can change it to 12 hour mode and you can also have it scroll from the top to bottom um, that's also code that I did find and I did edit all the digits to all the letters and digits and that a.m. p.m. Um, picture that's uh, scrolling so anyway obviously you cannot just put this in here this is my test setup with my PCB here um, I did design a PCB for it and which is this here so obviously I made, named it matrix clock and the parts you see here on the top of the PCB is actually will be the back of it uh, I just made it like this because it's easier for me to design from the front than from the back in in a mirrored way so anyway it has um, obviously 328 at mega chip it does have a second here I'm sorry, I'm just picking up all the parts that it will have, so I can show you. Um, since this PCB will go into this case and uh, maybe even will be used uh, as a standalone uh, uh, PCB, I made the, for the navigation switch two uh, locations for it. So if I put it in the inner uh, place, I can it will go in there without getting hung up on the case and if I put it in the outer place you can obviously uh, manipulate it with your finger and mind you this will be the other way around so if you have the clock in your hand this will be on the right hand side um, it does have obviously a battery backup for the RTC chip it does have not one but two type C connectors this one will be placed like this from the back or actually like this here but once you turn it around it will go out the back so I have uh, the wire from the clock going out the back and I have additionally if you want to use it in a different case uh, the that's the vertical that the horizontal type C connector again it will be on the right hand side on the left I'm sorry on the left so you have the options to choose either one uh, this clock doesn't have any sound I did change that I did add a speaker on my PCB it will have a speaker and it also has I don't have it but uh, on the other side it has uh, four LEDs kind of like the LEDs I have on this clock on the retro clock on the top and bottom of the displays so it will um, obviously have more functions than just showing the time uh, if you set an alarm it will obviously blink the LEDs uh, in any sequence that you would like and it has also an LDR for dimming of the clock right now it's connected very uh, with the uh, wires like this and I can show you if I cover it up it is darker 
actually it doesn't help but it is darker and if I let it go on the next run through it will be brighter and on the video you don't see it that much but it is uh, it's actually 15 steps that it has uh, between dark and bright so anyway that is that and um, if you're interested in this please let me know because I'm gonna order PCBs um, probably beginning of next week and um, I don't want to order too many because I don't know if it's gonna sell if anybody's gonna like it or not and um, so if you're interested please let me know oh and I forgot the back of it will not be glass because I need uh, a way to connect the USB oh and it also has I forgot that uh, very important feature it has onboard USB so you can just upload code to it or your own code if you want to change it uh, you can just upload it I have it right here on my screen and let me just change the 24 hour to true and upload the code again and then you will not see the a.m. p.m. obviously we are at one o'clock at night so uh, it's the same in 24 hours so it is again still one but the a.m. p.m. is gone and obviously if it would be in the afternoon it would show the time not as 5 but as 17 hours so it has on board USB so you can just plug it in you can have it running and you can just update the time or the code or whatever and we can't update the time over the switch obviously but then you have to open it up and uh, that way it might be easier and anyway since I have the USB going out the back I cannot <laughs> cut into the glass and uh, I decided to make of course a PCB back and uh, I put the name on it here is the opening for the Type-C connector and I put my logo on there as well and um, my name and date so these PCBs will be actually be screwed together and since I have the recess in the back which is bigger than the di inner diameter um, the PCB is also two, uh, two sizes this has a diameter of uh, 47.5 millimeters and the front one has uh, I think it's 50 millimeters or 49.5 no 50 millimeters I'm sorry this one is 47.5 millimeters and this is 49.5 millimeters and once I screw those together and I put it in there the black the back PCB will be sandwiched between the two pieces of the uh, between the case and the ring so it will be screwed in there um, and held probably with, without me needing to glue it in or whatever so it can easily be taken out and since the case has a hole on the bottom well I will put it on the bottom I will make a small stand for it I haven't decided what I'm gonna do how I'm gonna do it yet but it will have a small stand so it won't roll back and forth on your desk and anyway I think this was it um, did I mention all the features I think I did so um, uh, I did choose blue with this because the case is blue so it will look nice and also the PCB will be blue so I think it will look nice um, yes as you know I have no script so now that's why I'm kind of a little bit stuck but uh, I'm just thinking of something that I might have forgotten but I think I mentioned everything so anyway if you do like it please leave me a comment if you don't like it you can always leave a comment as well if you have any suggestions I'm open to any suggestions you might have 
and um, this is obviously visible from very very far and it takes I mean it's the smallest clock with the highest visibility so to speak I mean you can make big clocks to see from the far but they are big and this is small and I always like the idea of a single digit clock oh and yes I am also planning to make a clock with Nixie tubes I never had anything with a Nixie tube and I always like those and uh, once I decide on which Nixie tube to use I will make also well it might be smaller Nixie tubes with two digits that will show the t the hours and then the minutes possibly and then the seconds I don't know or make it a uh, as big as that fits in here and make it a single digit clock as well and I think the orange glow of the Nixie tube will go also very nicely with the blue of the case and what I noticed uh, a few minutes ago before I made the video I had this thing running and I had uh, well it's warm so I don't have a shirt on and I had the digits actually scroll over my belly <laughs> So uh, technically, uh, you could use this as a, I mean, I don't know how far I have to put it from the lens and whatnot. I, I mean, you will not do it, but you could use it as a projection clock. So anyway, um, this is it. So if you like my OLED um you can find it in my store. It's on there. I will put a direct link to it. And I will also now finally put the retro clock on my store, on my Tindy store. And uh, that might take a few days before I can, I will upload the code right now. So, I mean, the video, not the code. Um, but you can find updates on Tindy as well. And this way, obviously, I mean, for this clock, <coughs> I'm sorry. I have to order the PCBs first and then I can make it and um, this is it thanks for watching and take care everybody